From joining the millions who were deeply moved by one of the most shocking animated deaths of all time, to opening shots that soon created a dream that would ultimately be fulfilled. It's time to take a closer look at those movie moments that affected some of the industry's finest in truly profound ways. Gareth here from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 movie scenes that affected actors in profound ways. Number 10, an overdressing scene makes Kerry Condon want to be the person who evokes feelings, dogfight. The brilliant Kerry Condon knew at an early age precisely what sort of actor she wanted to be. And it all started back when she took in 1991's Dogfight. For those unaware, the film centers around a party known as the Dogfight, with various lads about to be sent off to Vietnam, all competing to see which cruel soldier can bring the ugliest date to the gathering. Lovely. This is how River Phoenix's Eddie Birdlace and Lily Taylor's Rose Fenny meet, with the latter eventually being so nervous about the idea of going out on the town with the former that she rather hilariously overdresses in one scene. Seeing Taylor fully commit to believing she looked anything but ridiculous when she wandered down the stairs to meet Birdlace was a key moment in young Condon's life. It was here when the eventual Oscar nominee realized how many more interesting characters were available to play once you put aside your own vanity. And Taylor was so moving as Rose in this moment that it made Condon want to be the sort of person who evokes feelings rather than just trying to be attractive, as that way it would resonate with lots of women as she put it. Job done then. Number 9. Bambi's mother dying profoundly moved Brendan Gleeson in his early years. Bambi. Even over 80 years later, it's pretty tough to sit through the moments Bambi's mother is gunned down during the Disney animated classic without shedding a tear. Trust me, I know, I still try. And seeing that moment play out at a young age forces children to think about something as difficult and complex as grief rather early on in life. That's a big reason why Brendan Gleeson classes Bambi as one of the three movies that profoundly moved him in his earlier years, according to entertainment.ie. The fact the death of Bambi's mother and the film as a whole prepares you for life in an odd way with just drawn characters is something the star of In Bruges and Calvary still finds pretty amazing when looking back. And he's most definitely not the only person who found themselves being massively affected by the realization of Bambi's mother not quite getting getting away from a human hunter. Which animated feature had the biggest impact on you as a kid? Let me know in the comment section down below, my friends. Number 8. The Chocolate Room Makes Salma Hayek Believe There's a Place Where Everything's Possible, Willy Wonka. This scene which introduces the chocolate room in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory is up there as one of the most wondrous of all time. And one youngster was so profoundly inspired by this exciting scene that she eventually decided to pursue a career that would involve her stepping onto this sort of mind-blowing set. While not specifically realizing she wanted to become an actor there and then, the brilliant Salma Hayek knew after witnessing the film's chocolate river scene, and things like burping your way back down to earth after floating into the sky, that she had to be part of this industry in some way. This all made something click in her brain, as the star put it, and Hayek went about finding a way to step into this place where everything was possible in the years that would follow. So if it hadn't been for the likes of Augustus Gloop going for a dip in a chocolate river, then fans may have never been treated to the gift of Hayek in everything from Frida to Eternals. Number 7. The opening shot took Eddie Redmayne to a place he'd never been and soon became a dream of his. Cabaret. Eddie Redmayne once sat down to watch a little film by the name of Cabaret, and things were never really the same. Specifically, the opening scene involving Joel Grey's Master of Ceremonies performing the Welcome In number was an image that was etched onto his retina as he put it. The overall mood, the corruption felt throughout, and the highly specific choreography early on all gripped Redmayne from a young age. And the movie in general had such an impact on the eventual star that he even claims it's the flick that catalyzed him into being an actor. And in a rather insane turn of events, Redmayne would actually fulfill something he classed as one of his only life dreams later down the road, playing the master of ceremonies in a London stage revival of the musical. If that wasn't awesome enough, the longtime cabaret lover even ended up being sent a card on opening night from the person partly responsible for making him want to be an actor during that exceptional opening number, Joel Grey himself. 
What a life, eh? Number 6. Johnny Depp wanted a tornado to sweep him away as a child. The Wizard of Oz. As a young lad, Johnny Depp didn't have all that many pals. That's according to the Pirates of the Caribbean star himself. With the bloke fond of playing some of the strangest beings ever thrown onto the big screen, revealing in Cindy Perlman's book, You Gotta Watch This, that the Wizard of Oz left him dreaming of a solution to his loneliness. Depp longed to be swept away by a tornado, just like how Dorothy was early on in the flick. If it meant that he be free of the life he was living at the time as a teenager. Befriending a scarecrow or a tin man would have possibly helped him feel less alone too. Johnny likely wasn't the only kid who spent many a day dreaming about wandering down the yellow brick road, or taking a trip to Munchkin Land after watching this groundbreaking Oz adventure. But it's clear that Dorothy being swept away via Whirlwind had a more profound effect on a little depth than most, and the scene seemingly gave him hope that one day he'd fly away from what sounds like a rather depressing childhood. Number 5. Margot Robbie adored the wedding so much she used the music at her own true romance. In case you weren't aware, Margot Robbie is a massive true romance fan. How massive? Well, when it came time to officially tie the knot with her hubby, the Australian sensation knew there was only one piece of music she could walk down the aisle to. As heard throughout the film's opening title sequence, and at numerous other points in the crime romance tale, Hans Zimmer's Your So Cool track, synonymous with the 1993 classic, evidently had quite the profound effect on a young Robbie. And as she'd reveal in a conversation with MTV News a few years back, when sat next to one of the film's stars, Brad Pitt, True Romance was definitely her undisputed favourite movie of all time. So the film's music playing on her wedding day was a no-brainer in the end. Clearly, Robbie was hooked by the track as it accompanied the pair of lovebirds during the moment they swiftly tied the knot in the flick itself. Though the Wolf of Wall Street star ended up going for an Australian Gold Coast setting for her big day, rather than City Hall. Number 4. A Bedside scene helped make Austin Butler the actor he is today, Magnolia. It's safe to say Austin Butler currently sits as one of the finest thespians of his generation. But in terms of the performances that helped shape him into the mesmerizing performer he is today, perhaps the most impactful comes in the form of Tom Cruise's work as Frank T.J. Mackey in Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia. When going into detail about which five movies made him the actor he is, Butler confessed that he absolutely adores Anderson's films. But Magnolia was the first he truly fell in love with. And along with noting how Cruz's performance in the film ranks as one of his very best in Butler's mind, the star would also highlight the hugely emotional bedside scene involving Frank visiting his dying father Earl as one of the most heartbreaking he'd ever witnessed. Butler heard that Cruz rewrote his dialogue for the moment Frank initially refuses to cry for his dying papa before eventually breaking down, and would also recall being told that Philip Seymour Hoffman genuinely started shedding tears during the scene after being so moved by his co-star's work on the day. Fast forward a few decades and it's now Butler leaving audiences with no choice but to blubber into a tissue, thanks to his entirely moving turn as the iconic hip shaker Elvis. Number 3. Tom Hiddleston adores a scene so much he memorised it and has De Niro and Pacino impressions. Heat. Some scenes have such a deep and monumental impact on an up-and-coming actor, that said Star of Tomorrow simply cannot help but commit that sequence to memory. That was most certainly the case when it came to the legendary couple of coffee shared between Al Pacino's Lieutenant Vincent Hanna and Robert De Niro's professional thief Neil Macaulay in Michael Mann's 1995 masterpiece Heat, with eventual British acting superstar Tom Hiddleston clearly being quite profoundly affected by their exchange. In fact, when sat alongside the great De Niro himself on The Graham Norton Show a few years back, Hiddleston couldn't resist showing off his Hanna Macaulay impressions in front of the icon. After admitting to knowing whole pages of the film, Hiddleston hilariously performed a a section of that aforementioned gripping back and forth, throwing out a few trademark De Niro facial expressions and Pacino growls during a rather surreal few minutes. Classing it as one of the great pieces of screen acting you can hope to watch, you can bet a young Hiddleston never imagined he'd be offering the Raging Bull star his own personal version of one of De Niro's favourite scenes. But here he was, and he even managed to impress the mighty Bob on the night. Number 2. The Chatty Cathy scene inspired Emma Stone to become an actor. Planes, trains and automobiles. It's no secret that planes, trains and automobiles had a hell of an impact on Emma Stone's choice of career. On top of being able to recite the entire F-word monologue 
delivered by Steve Martin in the 1987 John Hughes comedy classic, the Academy Award winner has also admitted there's one particular scene in the film that pushed her onto the road to becoming an actor herself. Recalling the chatty Cathy moment in the picture that sees Martin's brassed off Neil Page compare John Candy's Del Griffiths to an irritating chatty Cathy doll, Stone would note to Entertainment Weekly that going from giggling at the former to your heart breaking for the latter made her realise that you could actually do both. In the years that would follow, Stone would brilliantly do exactly that, of course. In the likes of Easy A, La La Land, and many more, the diverse star has consistently shown an ability to produce compelling performances that are as side splitting as they are moving. And it all started after watching Martin unleashing hilarious slash heartbreaking hell on Candy all those years ago. Number one, Rick Dalton forgetting his lines led to Michael J. Fox's retirement, once upon a time in Hollywood. Fresh off of frustratingly not being able to remember his lines whilst on the set of Lancer, Leonardo DiCaprio's Rick Dalton well and truly freaks out inside of his trailer during Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it was this particularly explosive display of exasperation and disappointment that ultimately resonated with none other than Michael J. Fox a few years ago. As the Back to the Future star who suffers from Parkinson's disease would eventually reveal to Empire Magazine, DiCaprio's Dalton screaming at himself for not being able to remember his words felt similar to a moment he'd had in real life when he found himself looking in the mirror and thinking, I cannot remember it anymore. But instead of going on the warpath like Dalton though, Fox found peace in that particular realization, telling himself, well, let's move on, when he began struggling to remember his lines on the set of The Good Fight. Said meltdown, one that was improvised by DiCaprio, will forever go down as one of the most iconic freakouts in movie history. However, it also helped inadvertently influence a peaceful end to the career of one of the most beloved figures in Hollywood history too. And that's our list know of any other movie scenes that affected actors in profound ways? Well, let us know all about them in the comments section right down below, and don't forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're down there. Also, if you like this sort of stuff, then please head on over to whatculture.com and find some more fantastic articles just like the one this video you're watching right now is based on. I have been Gareth from whatculture.com. Cheers for stopping on by today. Go and check out some more What Culture videos on the channel, but in the meantime, just be good to yourself. Bye-bye!